For those of you who have asked for progress on how it's been going with Tonal, I'm about one month in and I am very, very pleased with the journey. Uh, as you'll see here, there's the Tony Horton's 20 and 20 Ignite program, which I've been doing, which are about 20 minute clips. And what I really like about tonal programs is you don't have to think about, are you gonna be training arms or legs or back? You just turn your machine on and that day it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. And I'm getting better at um, using my tonal and the arms and popping it out. That was a little bit of a learning curve for me, uh, but now it's, it's very intuitive and I'm a lot more adept at doing that. Um, to let you know as well, I didn't show you the last time, some of the things that your tonal comes with. So it comes with a bench, it comes with um, a smart bar, and this you can like do deadlifts, lat pull downs, different things with this that attaches to the machine and you literally have your weight release um, right here. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually syncing to the tonal itself and that puts resistance on or off. Um, it comes with the <laughs> rope attachment. I don't know, this thing looks bizarre, but the rope attachment comes with it again for the like, pull down movements and um, it's wonderful. It's super sturdy and it locks right into the arms. Um, there's also this foam roller, but it can also um, go on to your smart bar. So if you're doing like pelvic thrusts, um, so between those attachments, like you have so many different hundreds of movements that you can do with tonal. And again, you can pick a program like I did, like the 20 and 20 Ignite, which was highly recommended to me by the tonal community because I really didn't know where to begin, where to start. And this was one of the programs that everybody kept talking about. And it shows here, I'm on like a six week streak, um, 43,000, um, I guess pounds are like my total volume that I've lifted. And I'm very happy with how great they are at showing you proper movement. And when I have done movements that have not been correct, the tonal tells me like, go deeper into your squat or, you know, straighten your back. It will tell me how to perfect my movements, which um, other programs I've done in years past, there was no spotter. So it's easy to hurt yourself with other programs. And the AI with tonal, um, is able to look at how you're moving and if you're doing a movement correctly or improperly, which prevents injury and really gives you the most out of your workout. Um, I'm gonna try to work the arms here to like just show you. Um, so they kind of come out like this and you lift and you can get the arms maybe just like about here, you can go higher, lower. This button on the inner part allows you to go out, in. Um, you can also raise and lower it. So let me just see if I can get this one up too. And yeah, you know, lock them, uh, lower, raise to your even height. Um, and this part also goes in. I'm out of frame, but you get the idea. Um, really, really pleased with how quiet it is and easy it is to use. And then of course you have the smart handles here. And so if you're in a movement, um, and you want to put the weight on, you click this and that's actually going to like add weight. Or if you click it again, you can take the weight off. So if you're really struggling during a rep and you're like, I can't do this anymore. Um, you can click out, but uh, it, it actually can sense if you're doing a rep and if you're struggling um, during a rep, it will sense your struggle. In some cases, it will naturally lighten the resistance for you. Or if a movement is way too easy, the machine can also sense that and be like, oh, it's too easy for you. And it will up your resistance and you'll be like, oh my God, I'm in pain. So I find that really incredible. 
And if you don't wanna do a tonal program, you can also just look at individual, hold on, let me move this thing. Um, individual movements. And if you just wanna do your own like goblet squats, bench press, resisted lateral lunge, whatever, you can do your own movements and kind of build out your own exercise program, uh, which is really nice. So you have the option of doing a pre-made um, workout system or picking and choosing. So there's something for everyone. And of course, as I said before, awesome, awesome music. So I have it on, um, like techno house music, but you can change it depending on your mood or have like no music at all if you're just not up for that. Uh, so I've noticed um, with strength, strength training, um, I am losing inches. So I'm happy about that. My advice to anybody is don't step on the scale when you add in strength training because it can really screw with your head. Um, really try to go off of measurements and your, how your clothes are feeling because muscle is dense weight. And I stepped on the scale and I lost my, sh okay, I lost it. And I was like, I've been working so hard. I've been doing the Peloton. I've been working my butt off. I've been counting my macros and keeping my eating great. I didn't gain a lot of weight, but I saw an increase on the scale and I got really twisted. And um, the more research I'm doing uh, is that when you start adding in strength training, the number on the scale may increase and not to get twisted about it um, because it's better to have lean muscle mass and have things pull in than to just be, how do I say, skinny fat and have no tone at all and just be like, emaciated so after a day of like beating myself up i i've like stayed the course and i'm really happy because i am feeling my clothes getting looser i'm feeling um stuff firming up and an inch loss so i'm about that so the scale can be tricky don't get upset by it um so i basically alternate between tonal and peloton um, but this actually has some really nice cardio programs. Um, they have 305 Fitness um, collaboration here, and they are a really fun um, dance program. So there's like dance cardio in here. Uh, so if you like to dance, which I do, um, I've done some of their dance cardio, I've done some of their Pilates, a little bit of their bar, there's yoga. So there's other things to choose from here. And I really like that. So there's no boredom. There's no boredom. You will not get like, you know, oh gosh, this is getting repetitive because they've also recently this past month added live classes, which is kind of similar to what Peloton did um, with that whole movement. So now Tonal has live classes in their roster, uh, which I think people are really liking and enjoying. So the instructors, I find them to be um, energetic, they don't, they're not too chatty, which I like, they just really get down to business and work you hard. So that is my update, my one month update on tonal. And again, I'm alternating tonal workouts with Peloton workouts and just trying to eat well and um, make good choices. And um, so I would recommend for people who have asked, try the Tony Horton's 20 and 20 Ignite um, the four weeks to fat loss is another wonderful one, but it's a full hour and it is more of an advanced program. So if you're a beginner, I would not jump to that. Um, and also Gabby's uh, Hit the Beach, but it's spelled H-I-I-T, the beach. Her program was awesome too. So that's kind of what I've tried as far as strength so far and really liking it. As far as like things that they can improve, I have no complaints. I mean, maybe the price. I think tonal is very expensive, um, but I'm gonna say that it is worth it. So it would be nice to see it get to a point that everybody could afford to get a tonal, um, but realistically, it's about four grand and 
I know that's not in everybody's budget, but when you think about what you're spending on gym memberships year after year, it really pays for itself and um, it's super clean and quiet and really convenient. So that's my bit. I hope you're having a good week and any more questions, post them in the comments.